What's up guys? So right now I'm over here at Danny's shop. We're just kind of hanging out late night. Uh, we're working on my buddy Tony's car. We're doing the intercooler piping right now on it. He's putting a turbo uh, 6266 on it. So they had me welding some of the intercooler piping. So this is my first time welding any type of intercooler piping. And I just wanted to show you guys, there's still a little hole right here that Danny has to fill. I didn't even want to attempt that because it's hard to do that. But you can see my welds. Um, I mean, it's welded, not the greatest. But like I said, I wanted to show you guys so you guys could see the progress. You can see I kind of got comfortable there and laid some dimes there. But I also did this one as well. But yeah, man, I'm going to try to see if I can get some more practice. And then when I get to my intercooler piping, it'll turn out great. I'll just practice on my friends. <laughs> so we're about to put Ricky's car on the lift. We cleared off this table so we can build the floor bars. We're going to start cutting everything and notching it and see how much uh, we can get done on this car today. Just go up a little bit. Here, take, the front, take, take that thing in real quick. Perfect. Got my little knee pads. You know, since I'm getting old. Yeah, you are getting old, bro. Gotta spread that knowledge. <laughs> my boy just woke up from a nap. How was your nap, buddy? How was your nap? I don't know. Are you going back to sleep? All right, so we need two uh, one and five eighths at 52 inches. We need two one and a halfs at 41 inches, and we need two um, one and five eighths at 41 inches. So we're gonna go ahead and cut. All right, so you said 41. Yeah, 41. Yeah. Just one. Yeah, we need two of them. So we already got that one, we got that one, we just need two more. All right, so we got the notcher set up. Danny's gonna give me my degrees. That's what we gotta go to, 0. 0.42. <laughs> This is the last pipe, so I just want to show you what I was doing. Um, we got to tighten it down, and then I turned this to get it to touch it right there. And once it touches, zero it out. Then I can back it up, turn on the machine, and then I can feed it, and then get to, this number has to be 0.42. So what's the game plan on this? Yeah, I'm not sure. So we gotta notch all these the same as these. Yeah, and then we'll build our little box. That's the shine. 
Tony just had me tack this up for his downpipe. So it's gonna cool off right now. I just have it tacked in a few places and then if it is uh, right, then we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tack it all the way around. Well, not tack it, but weld it. All right, so we test fitted it and it's working good. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld her up. first time welding stainless steel too they're putting me to the test i've welded stainless steel chromoly and i was welding aluminum you can buy it for any of us as a gift or buy it in a seller kit. Yeah, you can. That's the law. So you're saying my boy says uh something boy. Oh no, me. Hey. New lens. Huh? Oh, God. I wish I would have paid for that one, dog. <laughs> if I would have knew you were doing, I would have tapped that Bro, shit. Oh, that's messed up. Hey, it would, it would have been good, to uh -huh. be honest. My yeah. dumb I'm not ass. saying it was right bad, after, bro. But I if I had a stainless it. cup on good. here, uh huh. Well, you put a stainless cup for your next one. Yeah. So you can see how the difference of having a, you know, normal, non-gas cup to a gas lens. Yeah. Then your weld's gonna look, you know, colorful. Look at that. That's your that's your pipe, dog. Looking good, boy. After you're done, powder coat it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see those? Oh my goodness. Man. Give you guys a close up of how it looks. Well, it's not the greatest, but. It's well done. Alright, so he just put the bigger cup on it. Where's the smaller cup? So I used this one at first, the small, small one. That's. Which that's is the a, one I was just using. Probably an eight. That's an eight. So, so that's the But difference. you had a standard lens, non-gas lens. This one, you have the nice. All right. So let's see how it looks with Fupa this. 12. Fupa so 12. You turn your gas up a little bit. And uh, so you'll oh, go. Else? Here's your first one with no color. And people online, you know, live their life. Danny doesn't color, believe color. me that this is my first I'm a, time I'm a welding stainless steel. Person. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. There's no way. He's like, there's no way. <laughs> it is, bro. Unless you learn how to weld in your dreams or something. I mean, I might have like done it in a past life. Maybe I'm a fabricator. I never knew it. You, 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 you brought it out of me, bro. You bought an app like how to be a perfectionist. I just downloaded a chip. <laughs> True calling. All right, well, let's see how it looks like after this one. Good shit. Well, it just it doesn't. Uh, it fuck what the it doesn't benefit like, me in line. If it's, line it's not, it for, you know? right, he right. wants to make sure that the weld. It's don't consistent. Yeah, it's consistent. I mean, to me, I, I don't know. This is just the beginning, you know? Color, color isn't, you know, everything. All right. Well, let's see what you're talking about, boy. I was always, not that I was scared to weld, but, like, I never knew how to set up the machine or, like, what gas and, like, what amperage. But I'm learning little by little by welding because, you know, Danny's like, oh, you're welding at this or you're welding at that. Um, I know like chromoly I was welding at 88 amps and um, 
so it's a, it's different for like aluminum and stainless steel. So I'm just learning all those little things. And eventually, I'll just I'll know it all. Well, you never know it all, but you'll know enough. Can I get that? All right, let's see what this is about. Oh damn, I see what you mean. Damn. Yeah, then when you that looks nice. Here, let me get a little closer. You got a light on that? Can you tap the screen? So I see. Oh, I see the difference. Let's get some light on. You see your so boy try to weld like an inch at a time and then when you stop, uh-huh. Don't take the torch off till the gas turns off. So just hold it like the pedal off, but just like where the gas is still? Yeah. Gotcha. It, it, it's set up to it for like six seconds. Where's that other clamp at? Yeah, you can already see it's bluer. Yeah, see blue and gold? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah, you can see the color in it now. Yeah, your boy's not too bad though. Getting there. Because you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying, dude. I mean, that's just a compliment, really, right? Look at that. Look at the color on that. That's nice. Alright, guys, so my first downpipe complete. There you go, Tony. Don't burn me. You got my first downpipe, bro. It's a little hot. I think this side's good. Yeah, I already got my fingers once. But we, we're done. Be bro. careful, y'all. <laughs> yeah, don't touch it when it's too hot. He already got his skin. Hey. Hey. <laughs> You're the OG, bro. Right, yeah. Damn it. All right, there you go. First downpipe going on my car. He's just throwing me in there, bro. Throwing me in with the wolves, man. Right. That's how you learn, though. Yeah, but I believe in it. That's awesome. So Danny's gonna tack it up on the floor because the table's not big enough. And then we'll put it on the table and then we'll get we'll it welded up. We'll weld the rest. This one you got that one, and then you get the <coughs> running this way um, on the outsides of your tunnel, and then you get a diagonal, you get a diagonal, and then you get one seat bar for the crash. And those are smaller tubes, one and a quarter inch. These will get fitted in about right here. So it's actually a lot of welding. Yeah, one, two, three, four, three, four, three, six, three, eight, eight, 20, 22 welds, 24 welds. So, and then that all gets welded on the table. Oh, yeah. And then wipe it all down with acetone. So Make sure it's always clean. Get those good get, welds. Get, get the weld, your colorful welds. You can actually weld this with that FUPA cup, that FUPA 12. Oh, that same one? Yeah. Right. No one will ever see it, but they will know that there's rainbow welds on the car. <laughs> <laughs> I also tack it on the top here to allow me to you know adjust it if you tack it here you can't bend it that way if you tack it here you can bend it both ways you tack it here you can't bend it that way but you can bend it that way gotcha. you know? oh you know what we're using your welding settings from your from his exhaust you guys turn it up yeah, I'll turn her up to like 99. 
You're like posing right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just do one for now. Move it around. Get it all squared up. So yeah, I'm gonna measure the tunnel. Um, and then I'll polish these two spots and we'll put those in the tap room. Boom. Check the squareness. We're looking pretty square. Boom. Check the other side. Woo! Same thing. Good. Well guys, I'm going to call it for tonight. Um, it's almost three o'clock in the morning. Danny's going to finish tacking this up. I don't know how far he's gonna get on tonight, but he likes to stay up late. I'm already tired. I got my welding in for today. So I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the new daily that I got. And yeah, we'll talk more tomorrow. I'll see you guys. All right guys, so about a week ago, I posted up the blue STI for sale. I sold it really fast. It was like probably two days. And I was looking at another car. So right now, I'll show you the car. Right now I'm headed to the post office to drop off the share orders, and then we'll come check this car out. I'm in it right now, so if you guys can tell what it is. You guys have seen it before. Just the look at the inside of it. If you guys know what it is, write it down in the comments. I'm sure a lot of you are guessing it right now. New daily, cold AC, nice tented windows. It's got some little turbo noises down in the hood. Making one more pit stop at Publix to get a sub for lunch. And then we're headed to the shop. See, all these people know the deal. They're waiting for them Publix subs. Damn boys, looks like we got our first package to the shop. The package is from our boys at Astro Tools. They sent me a little care package. Let's see what it is. Let's see if I get it open. Come on. Yeah, as soon as they found out I got a new shop, they're like, hey, give us the address. We're sending you something. They're always looking out, man. They've been there since day one. goodies and some more tools boys we always need tools and this is nice got some deep sockets a bunch of sockets oh yeah i appreciate you guys man we got some air guns wow. we got tools man hell yeah appreciate you guys man you guys are always looking out you guys should have sent me a banner though. I would have put it up on my wall. I appreciate it, man. Check out my sub. So this is the chicken tender sub with some cheese, banana peppers, uh, spinach, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and some sub sauce. And don't forget the chipotle and the ranch too. Can't forget about that, boys. All right, so here it is. This is my 1995 Toyota Starlet. So you guys saw this in a previous video when my cousin brought it over and i test drove it so he had it for a little while after that and then after selling my sti that was my daily and i was looking for another daily he did like a trade with my brother and ricky had it probably for not even 48 hours before i made a deal with him on it uh, since i got rid of my other one and i thought it would be a good daily because it has ac i mean it's good on gas it's super clean and honestly since i saw it the first time like I've, I've always liked it so here it is here's the inside i didn't clean it up or anything i've been using it so it's, she's a little dirty but you guys get the picture it has 179 i think 179,000 kilometers which is like a little bit over a hundred thousand miles and all this stuff came with it he changed the radio out i think that's the only thing he changed this is the steering wheel from honduru 
but yeah man she's super clean she's actually kind of spacious for as small as this car is let me pop the hood for you guys So it has the 1.34e FTE motor. It's turboed. You see everything is nice and clean. I still gotta. I want to go through it and get all the dust off of it. He really didn't use it too much. He has another right-hand drive that he's just been switching between that one and this one. So pretty clean car overall. Super excited. Has the Blitz coilovers. The suspension feels awesome on this car. It also came with another set of wheels. I believe they're the stock wheels. I still gotta go pick them up. But these are some 17s that it came with. Not really sure like what brand they are. I think they came on the car from Japan maybe. I don't know. But has all like little Japanese stickers everywhere. You can see here. Pretty good condition man for the year. So I'm officially a part of the right hand drive family. This is the first of many, I hope. Um, still getting used to it. Driving on that side's a little weird. I've been driving it for like a week now. So it's becoming more comfortable. Uh, but I just love the car, man. I mean, I think it looks super cool. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. All right, so I was going through all the orders. I caught up on everything. Everything is shipped out besides this one. Um, I was reading the little comment that he put when he ordered the shirt and he's like, he was joking around, but he said, uh, if I could put his shirt on and do a roundhouse kick before I sent it. And I thought it was super funny. So I'm actually gonna do it for him. Um, his name is Brandon uh, Ewan. He's from Virginia. So, hey, Brandon, this is your shirt right here. I moved some space around in the office. I might break something, but this is your shirt, brother. Ah, roundhouse kick approved. I'm gonna go ahead and sign it. I've been signing all the shirts that have been going out. So I'll sign it right here on the door. I appreciate you guys. You guys, if you guys still wanna get some of these shirts, there's I think extra large, large, and maybe like a few medium left. So go ahead and go to the site and get those while you can. But I do appreciate all the orders. There you go, Brandon. All right, guys, so we're getting to the end of this video. I just want to say thank you guys. I don't know how else to thank you guys, but just expressing it and letting you guys know every single time. Um, I've been having a lot of fun welding, and this is something new to me. I love learning new things. I feel like I'm getting the hang of it. I know I got a long way to go. Um, if there's any welders out there and you guys got any tips, go ahead and write them down in the comments. I'll read through them. But I've been having a lot of fun. I've been welding all different types of metals, um, aluminum, stainless steel, and chromoly. And it's just nice having Danny over there because for one, he's like he's a good teacher. He wants me to learn and he he sees it in me that I can do it, you know. He doesn't believe that I haven't welded before, which is a good thing because I, to me that's a compliment. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to go over there whenever and just start welding on some stuff. Um, there's a lot of things that I want to weld myself. I think I'm going to go ahead and take on uh, welding the intercooler piping for my car. Cause I, you know, I have him for help. So I think I'm gonna order the piping for this cause that's what it needs. Um, and it needs a few other things so we can get this car on the road. And yeah, we're just gonna keep having fun. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Hey.